guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the sixth annual Doris Bergman Emmy Style Lounge and Party at Fig and Olive in West Hollywood. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what brought you out today? Well, I have a friend of mine that said, you got to come to this, you got to come to this. And I thought, okay, I'm going to check it out and see what's out there and, uh, you know, enjoy the fruits of some of our labor. Exactly. It's nice. It's a nice, uh, this is like one of the gifting suites, I feel like. Yeah. It's a good party. You get to talk to good people. But also, it's a great way to run into old friends. True. And, which I have already a couple. And try things that you wouldn't necessarily shell out for exactly. it. Exactly. But this way you can try them, and if you really like it, then you can get some more. True, that's a good point. Without, you know, yeah. buying stuff that then you oh, regret. it's like a little sample sale. Yes. Yes, very nice. So uh, let's talk about, we should talk about The Brink, and we should talk about From Dust Till Dawn. Sure, why not? You're on two uh, pretty amazing shows. Yeah, and Criminal Minds. And Criminal Minds. Yeah. I'm the. Uh, how, does, how does one uh, balance all that? Uh, very carefully, yeah. uh, contractually, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> gratefully. You nice. know, I'm a recurring on um, on Criminal Minds. I'm a regular on The Brink, which is only ten episodes a year, so we have time to do wonderful things like From Dust Till Dawn. So. Nice. And are you currently filming any of these right now? Or are they? Are you done? Or are you starting soon? Right what, now, what I studying? just did actually something for Blue Bloods. Okay. <laughs> something that will hopefully recur, and um, got to work with Tom Selleck awesome. and the wonderful cast there. And um, we just, uh, From Dust Till Dawn is airing now, mm -hmm. and The Brink, we, we finished airing, and we're getting ready to shoot early next year. Very cool. So, yeah. And, and on From Dust Till Dawn, I got a chance to play a fangster. Mm-hmm. Which you know, is? A gangster with fangs, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's a term I made up. Nice. Supernatural kind of underworld, mm -hmm. literally on more than one level cool. leader. but. I'd never done anything like that, and as a kid, I, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> you know, play monsters and werewolves and yeah. vampires, so I got a chance to do that. That's awesome. Put the contact lenses on and yeah. the mouth. Oh, very ugly and scary, but, you know, very cool, though, I very loved it. Cool. Yeah. So how do you balance, like, you know, all the characters are very different, so how do you yeah. kind of, like, you know, focus on one thing at a time? Good question. Uh, you know, I think they're all different aspects of your personality. I mean, you know, we're the same body, so we have to use the same core, but have you ever had different moods on different days? That has happened, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes you feel like you're, quote-unquote, possessed by different parts of your personality, mm -hmm. and that's what you do. You just kind of tune out the other ones. Kind of tap into... And you tap into the, the frequency, the range of where that character lives. Sure. And then try to make that as three-dimensional as possible. Sure. Are you going to be watching the Emmys on Sunday? If I can, I'm going to be traveling, and um, let's. There is a party to go to after that, so maybe yeah, there's something to do. Yeah. I what know. are uh, uh, you know other than the ones that you're obviously on, which are it's million. only the shows I'm on. Yeah, I right? don't watch anything else. No, no I'm kidding. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, there's so many. Honestly, with the advent of cable television, giving you freedom that network doesn't have. Yeah. And it, it's just been, you know, incredible the amount of shows that are extremely, you know, high quality, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I've heard of so many and I have a huge list of must watch. Yes. And I recently joined the, the Television Academy, so I have to watch so a now bunch. you're obligated to watch all the Yes. Shows. Well, you can't watch them all. I mean, That's true. the list is in, interminable. It is true. But you watch the ones that most uh, call your attention, the ones that are nominated, mm -hmm. obviously. Very cool. Awesome. Well, congratulations on all of the shows. Looking forward to, to all of them again. So, Thank nice you. talking with you. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and hit thumbs up if you like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and drop a comment with what you're doing Emmy Sunday.